King Song has released a version 1.05 firmware. It's a completely different wheel. The new 16X comes with a 2200 watt motor and a 1600 watt hour battery specifying a massive range of up to 90 miles. And all of that is just to spin a 16 by 3 inch tire, which looks pretty damn cushy. Compared to a 2.5 inch tire, I think the 3 inch tire didn't have to make any sacrifices. On the front, there's dual USB ports to charge your devices, and just below that, there's a 5 watt headlight. The pedals are tilted up and even taller than the 18XLs. They're bigger than the standard Kingsong pedals, and a little smaller than the extra large pedals. And most importantly for high performance, they're all grip tape with no rubber to slip on. If you use the standard 120 watt charger that comes with it, it'll take up to 14 hours to recharge. But you can double it up or use a third party fast charger and bring that down to about 3 hours. And just below that, there's Bluetooth speakers. The build quality is good, actually. I don't know if you saw the video where I crashed. I crashed it really hard. And it survived really with minimal damage. I lost some padding here. I lost some paint there. But overall, the housing is really strong. The thing is just uh, very optimally designed to just take a beating. For long rides, there's somebody selling the seat accessory. And you can just slide it on top and sit down. And it is quite comfortable when you're sitting down and riding around. When you first get this, you should probably update the firmware. To update the firmware, you just want to put it out on its side and connect to it and use the app to upgrade the firmware using Bluetooth. Alright, before I start riding, I'm just going to add some pads. You might see them in the video, but they're just so I can ride more comfortably. Alright, let's get started with this. The new firmware that King Kong just put out, the 1.05, so much smoother than it was before. The 16X pedals are pretty close to what I would consider ideal. As opposed to what King Kong has previously done with their pedals, they're no longer held in place with friction, but magnets. Now scraping the pedals is possible, but it's difficult. In terms of the comfort, not only are the pedals really important, but where my shins make contact with the frame is also very important. If the contact points are too low, I won't have very good control of it, but if they're too high, I won't be able to wiggle and twitch with it. Oh, it turned. Oh, I slipped on the, the ground again. That's the problem with the garage. The floor is super slippery. So I need to take this outside and really show you what it can do. Even though I think the 16X is a direct competitor against the 18 inch wheels in terms of power and range, it, is, it, it performs very differently. And when I'm riding around the city, like there's no other wheel that compares to the power and agility that this has. The MSX is like the only one that kind of resembles it, so, but, it but it's not the same. The acceleration is strong, the turning is easy, and like 
The control is high. So on the street, I don't think I've ever reviewed like a more nimble wheel than this. This thing is a beast on the streets. The mud guard works surprisingly well. It keeps my legs and my shoes relatively dry as I plow through these puddles. Now when you stop, you can see the battery life. So if you're missing five LEDs, that means you have eight thirteenths of your battery life remaining, which is, I don't know. The big cushy tires that this thing has really allows me to just smash into bumps and forget about it. Let's do it. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All good, all good. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna do it again. No, 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 no. It's slippery, dude. Go, 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 go. Woo! Let's go, go, go. Whoa. All right, go back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Hey, whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's figure out how steep that was. What the f 29. 29. Not a problem for it. Power. Probably have like 20 or 30 percent left, and I have gone. I've already gone 70 kilometers, so I'm gonna guess that the range is probably like 80 to 90 kilometers, realistically. Time for me to go home. And um, please keep battery. So in terms of handling, this thing is very agile and powerful. So I can accelerate, brake, and turn faster than any other wheel that I've ever reviewed. Now there's one downside that I must mention, and that is stability. It doesn't have the stability that the 18-inch wheels have, so you're gonna get a little bit more wobbles. You know, there's always a double-edged sword. Do you want more acceleration, or do you want more stability? Do you want better turning, or do you want less turning? When I'm doing lots of maneuvering through things, I don't need to commit as much body weight to that direction in order to accelerate. It makes it a lot more flexible, and that's really nice. The agility is the 16X's strongest point. It is such a nimble, powerful beast. I feel like I've stress tested, I've crashed it, I've done a lot of things to this thing that are not nice. Oh!
and it held up very well to this. So at the end of the day, the 16X is a fantastic city wheel with long range, durability, and convenience. You're not gonna find a better package containing those things. Make sure you set the tire pressure properly and update the firmware. The, I have to add the 16X to the list of the best wheels out there right now. I think this is the most playful city wheel, but if you want something that's more stable, you gotta check out the 18-inch wheels. I think that just about does it. I'm gonna end this review.